Hey Dan, here's your uh, short game shots uh, from earlier today. Um, on the left here was kind of the little bit of the before. We talked about having, although you are on a slightly uphill lie here, um, having a little bit too much shoulder tilt, what we call spine angle on this one. Um, this one on the right was the one you did right after you did your right right arm, right hand only swing. And I think this is a good way for you to, to practice a little bit right now and, and have the feel, even when you do have both hands on the club, to feel like you're, it's more right-sided for you since that's um, a little bit more your skilled side. And you can see the big difference here in the, the angle of your shoulders. Obviously, your left hand's not on the club, so your shoulders are actually this way. Um, just the way your whole upper body is tilting. And, um, you know, the tendency a little bit has been to have the club bottom out. This one was okay, but it, you know, kind of didn't quite bottom out where we wanted it to. And although there's no ball here in your eyes, certainly kind of get away from you. You wouldn't do that, I don't think, if you were actually swinging with a ball. And then your body follows your eyes, and you can see that the club bottoms out quite a bit more forward, which is a good thing. And so, here was your swing just after doing your uh, your right arm only. This was really nice contact. So, let this feel, you know, right-sided. Let it feel like you're doing it primarily with your right arm and your right side for you. That's okay. The other thing that looks better in this is, is you don't have quite so much of this excessive early wrist hinge. Even there, there might be a little bit too much. Keep in mind you're trying to get this whole kind of this whole triangle, if you will, and the club to move somewhat together. Sometimes we refer to these as a, this as a one piece takeaway. So you can see how your, your club head kind of outraces the rest of it. Um, that's what Jerry was referring to when he told you to get a little bit of that out of there good backswing even on a short shot is a blending of arm swing and shoulder rotation and, and wrist hinge and there's been times that you get a little bit too much and too early wrist hinge. This one was pretty good. It was a nice blend. And of course that depends also on the shot you're hitting in the line. Then we looked at this. I know this was a shorter swing, but um, just how your how your body kind of lines up at impact on this mini swing, and then we compared that to um, this wasn't today, but how it tends to line up on a uh, on a bigger swing. Again, all just excessive to some extent rotation there with your body. I'd like to see a little bit more a little bit more like this. Obviously this is a fuller swing, this is less swing, but it could get you a little bit more like this with your full swing and impact. Talked about doing some a lot of slow motion um, forward swing work to, to get a feel for that. You almost need to feel like your shoulders are closed um, to some extent. We would never want them that way. But again, what happens with this is as your body kind of over rotates, if you will, or outraces the club. You've lost the the uh, the blending of the of the body rotation and the and the arm swing. Is when the shaft is approximately parallel to the ground, like we see it here. You can see how far we call this behind your body. So anything, let's say, uh, uh, anything over here would be in front of your body. And then anything back here would be somewhat behind your body. So you can see when your body over rotates and it kind of outraces your uh, your arms and the club, that the club head gets left behind your body a little bit. Let me use this fellow as an example. So his arms and body are a little bit more matched up. So at approximately the same point in time, when the shaft of the club is parallel to the ground, you can see where his club is, or the head of the club. It's much more in front of his body, it's in front of his legs, 
as opposed to being behind. So this would be more on plane, if, and if you will, it's, it's in line with his hands. And if you like to get linear, then you know the, that would met this, the target line is there. Then the shaft would be actually pretty pretty parallel to it. And that would be some good slow motion work as well. Um, you know, halfway down or whatever point you want to call that. To but when the the shaft of the club is parallel to the ground, it's really only parallel to the ground at one point on the um, on the downswing that the, uh, the club itself is, is parallel to the target line or at least have the club kind of in line with your hands would be some good things for you to work on. Trying to think about those things at full speed, hitting a ball is somewhat useless because it's so fast. So, Okay.